Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today is Fashion Friday and then I would have completed um, my little fun challenge I set myself to do all the themes this week. I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, it's been fun. I enjoy the filming and the talking, that kind of thing. But the uh, getting the babies changed, um, setting it all up, putting it all away afterwards. Um, the uploading and, and any editing, chopping off little bits <laughs> where I've got it completely wrong, that sort of thing. Um, I enjoy all that, but the bit in between would be nice to cut out, wouldn't it? Where they dress themselves, got themselves ready on the bed and just laid there and said, film me, mum. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, so today we have Abby. thought I'd start with Abby for a change first. Um, she's looking really pretty. Um, she always smiling away, such a happy little face. Um, and she's wearing um, a sort of, it's like a peachy pink. Um, it's not quite pink, it's not quite a very pale peach. Um, it's lovely, it is. It's got little flowers all over it, reds and purples and green leaves. It's really pretty, I like that kind of thing. And it's got a little frill around the yolk. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got that from La Redoute. I bought that for her um, last year after I'd first made her. Um, it's got a um, little short to go with it in like a rusty colour and they've got straps that go over and then she's got like a, a rust colour cardi that goes with it. Looks really great with tights underneath the shorts and um, she's wearing a pair of soft, um, like a vintagey pink, pale vintagey pink. It's one of my favourite colours. Um, corduroy trousers with elasticated ankles and they're from La Redoute as well and they have little bows on the ankle and a pair of similar coloured um, baseball boots or high tops they call them now don't they high tops um, with they've got actually got lace around the ankle they're broidery anglaise cream broidery anglaise ray let oh, broidery anglaise lace <laughs> got there in the end um, Oh, sorry about Lexi, she can hear somebody outside. Um, so she's letting us know, like we can't hear them. Um, then I got from Tesco's, they were last year as well. Um, I think they were £5. Um, <clears throat> they're really pretty to go with anything. I, I, when I saw them, I had to buy them because the colour is just me, isn't it? It's really nice. Um, so there she is for Fashion Friday, looking adorable and smiling away. It's going to look so nice on the chair in the living room now. The chair in the living room is actually brought for Madison, the the Alenka because she's sort of 32 inches tall um, but I like to rotate them and uh, this one is nice it's nice to have Abby on there because she's always smiling and uh, is always looking cheerful um, Tristan's across the room by the window in his rocker napper and uh, he's always crashed out looking really gorgeous and uh, fast asleep so um, they um, keep, they're just nice to have in the room and cheerful and hubby doesn't mind so I'm really lucky um, but uh, she looks gorgeous, don't she, bless her? So there's Abby. Doesn't Jameson look adorable? <clears throat> Excuse me. He has the most serene, peaceful face, isn't he? Beautiful little face. And um, he's wearing a shirt I got off eBay. They're both wearing um, clothes that I bought not long after I'd made them last year. It's been nice to um, dig them back out again after the summer and uh, have a look at them again. It's like looking at them new, isn't it? <laughs> Um, he's wearing this lovely check shirt. It's like a, I should have ironed it really before I put it on him. It's like a sort of reddish rust colour, and then it's got uh, this nice check. It's got beige and white and black in the check, and then it's got a pocket with a button on, and it's a real pocket, and mock, uh, mock sleeves where he's got a pretending top underneath, and he's wearing. Charcoal grey tracky bottoms and like little workman boots. There, look, aren't they cute? And oh my, excuse me, I just need to press my. There you go. Oh no, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I'm having such trouble with my tripod. Um, excuse me just for one moment, talk amongst yourselves. No, it's not going to wear it. I'll have to sort it out in a minute. Um, and if I turn him around, what I really like about this shirt is... Oh, oh boy, you wait, hun. It's on the back. It's got... 
um, like a vintage American car. Let's see what you can see. There you go, it says classic car. See, it looks like a little grease monkey, doesn't he? <laughs> looks really cute. Um, so that's uh, Jameson. And now we have Ruben. <coughs> Sorry, I've got um, such a clubby chest today. And I think it's the weather. Um, and he's wearing a very pale, or quite a pale sage green and off-white top from H&M. It's really gorgeous. If you remember my haul <laughs> from a few months ago, there was a whole load of stripy tops and him and Tristan share them now. And I had almost every colour <laughs> all for £2 out of the sale in H&M. And he's wearing tracksuit bottoms I've had for years. Um, I think they were from Asda. And then little socks from Next. So he looks adorable, doesn't he? It's a little bit shadowy. I usually find it looks shadowy through my camera. And then when I upload the film, it actually looks fine. So fingers crossed, um, it'll look much better when you're looking at it. So there's Ruben. And next is my beautiful boy. And it's Tristan. And he's wearing a charcoal grey hat with a top knot I got off eBay. Um, it's at the back. I don't know if you... What can you see? <laughs> Up there, so cute, I love them. And the ones with the ears on, so sweet. And Scarlet's like the one with the pom pom in each corner. Aren't they gorgeous? And he's wearing a Snoopy outfit that I bought from, um, it's all last year's clothes, because I'm digging out the autumn stuff now and the winter stuff. And this outfit I bought for him as well when he was first made. I tend to have um, a little wardrobe for each one when they're made, because you just want to change them, don't you? And fuss with them and enjoy them, what well, I do. <laughs> I'm like a new mum, I just love them. Um, oops, sorry, knocked the tripod. And he's wearing a Snoopy outfit I got from George Astor last year. And it's like a sort of lem uh, yellowy, mustardy colour top that has Snoopy and a little bird that I can't remember what he's called on the front. And that's sort of quilted. It's appliqued on top, but there's something un padding underneath. And then the tracksuit bottoms that match are grey and they've got the little bird in yellow and Snoopy in a black outline all over it. And then I picked up the little socks yesterday in Asda. £3 for five pairs, I thought it was brilliant. And they are grey with a mustardy orange or orangey mustard more um, tip and heel, toes and heel. And on there they've got little bear, raccoons, um, probably a fox. Yeah, a little fox. Um, all the things that I'm quite into at the moment and think are quite cute. It's moving back a little bit that way. There you go. Doesn't he look sweet? Looks really cool, doesn't he? So that's Tristan doing his Fashion Friday, doing his best Snoopy. And now we have Scarlett. Doesn't she look adorable? I did get an outfit out for her. I got out a lilac um, sleep suit with the rabbit on the front and that lilac Viking rabbit hat. That she has which is really cute i thought that would be sweet today um that's a police helicopter i think going over some some kind of helicopter or something if you can pick it up um and but i left her in the outfit that she was in in the crib because she just looks so adorable and when i put her back in a minute i want to put her back looking so adorable so i didn't change her she looks so sweet um and both her hat and her uh, sleep suitor from next they're both white with cute little flowers all over there in pinks and and greens the hat actually doesn't match the sleeper it's just very similar the hat has got little tiny uh, bunnies on it as well i'm always attracted to um rabbits on um babies clothing cute little bunnies and things um i'm looking around at the moment for a nice um little lamb like a lamb comforter or a nice lamb uh, when i was a child i had a lamb a little toy lamb that my great grandfather no yeah my great grandfather gave me and i had it for years but um later on when i got divorced it got lost in the uh, when we were moving house and separating all the things off and that kind of thing and i always wondered what happened to it i'd probably find that um like like my um thing of handbags i collect handbags not so much now because i can't carry one i have to have a cross body so it gets a bit boring but i used to love handbags and purses anything like that and um, was always buying them all different colours and designs and we moved house once and the wrong uh, thing got thrown out and the wrong thing kept and we kept the um, thing with the rubbishy stuff in it was to go out and accidentally threw out all my handbags oh god I was broken hearted 
Um, and I think I might have done the same with um, some of my old things from when I was a child because they disappeared over the years. But never mind. Uh, so I'd like to get a little lamb, but not um, a nice one, a nice soft one that you can put with the babies. I think that'd be really lovely. And I'd like a lamb comforter as well for um, Karis when she's done and the Romley. I might get one for both of them. So I've got them... Uh, got my eye on something for them but uh they'd be nice really little lambs but i do like the little bunnies as well I've got quite a few little bunnies around the place little teddies and little things i've got a jar with a bunny on the top and a bunny night light in the back room for the grandchildren and that sort of thing they're just uh, like traditional almost like winnie the pooh and uh, that kind of thing um so that's me rambling again isn't it <laughs> <laughs> never mind um so there we got scarlet looking absolutely adorable and i put her back in her crib now and she'll look adorable for the rest of the time till i change her again so sweet i love this little little one her and tristan are so my favorites but then i do enjoy the others as well every time i get jameson out to dress him i think oh what a sweet boy and i get abby out and i think oh she's such, got such a smiley face and then i get madison out who like wears me out to change <laughs> and um, then I think, oh, you know, I worked so hard on you, and you turned out okay, and you, you look lovely, and, uh, you know, she always reminds me of, um, the reason I bought um, the Alenka was because when um, my mum had her reborn collection, she had two that were her favourites. She had the Ariana Awake, which I have, and, and I don't, uh, don't do much with her because uh, she's just too precious to me. I don't want anything to happen to her. And she also had um, the Angelica by Reva Schick. And what she'd done was she was building up a Reva Schick family. So she had the Noah, um, the Ariella, she had the um, Rebecca, uh, all the little ones that were out at the time. The Noah Awake wasn't out then because mum passed away in 2013. And uh, that came out, I think, not long after she passed. And um, the big one, Angelica, she called Alice after her grandmother. Uh, which my uh, when Rubin was Alice, he was named after my grandma, great grandmother Alice May, and she had the Ariana, which was Seren, and she's still Seren. Seren is a Welsh name; it means star. And she used to call them her girls, and she used to have them in the living room. Well, when she died, I had the babies, and um, she, um, you know, because I was the only one interested in them. My brothers and sister um, don't like them. Um, it it wouldn't be unusual to after mum was in the hospice to go to the house and uh, one of them would have turned the big one's head backwards and stuck sunglasses on the back so it looked like cousin Nature, you know, that kind of thing they just didn't like them but I had them and I promised I'd look after them but when I actually had them and brought them here um, the Ariana I was all right with but that was the biggest doll I'd ever had as only ever had little ones before and the Angelica was just huge to me. Um, we didn't have so many toddlers and different things then. And she was basically the biggest and, and you know, one of the biggest ones at the time. Most of them were small. And I think the, the one Reva Schick brought them out was when they really started, and the Ariana was when they really started doing toddlers more. But um, I found her too big. So she sp spent a lot of her time under the bed in a box. And then one day I thought to myself, I should sell her really because... It's just a waste. And every time I got her out, she reminded me too much of mum because mum really adored them. I got round it with the Ariana because she was blonde and I put a dark wig on her. So I still had mum's doll, but I didn't have the constant pain every day from looking at her and seeing mum's babies. So that was fine. But I regretted it ever since. And um, I really wished I hadn't done it always since then. Um, and so I bought the Alenka because... Um, that wasn't quite so big, and I and it sort of replaced um, her in my mind in a in a sort of way that I had the big baby and sat in the chair, um, because I gave her chair away as well. She had a cream leather chair, and I gave that to the grandchildren, which was fine. And I sold the doll, and I've always always regretted it ever since. Um, but I'm sure Mum wouldn't have minded. She would have been fine about it. She's like, do what you want with them. They're yours once they're gone. Um, and I do have one or two of those still around that are boxed up, but um, I did give a lot of them away. Um, I was going to sell them, uh, but um, when it came to it, I couldn't do it. Couldn't go through all the advertising, the taking photos, the dealing with buyers and everything. So um, I did give them away so that people would have reminders of mum and this sort of thing. And 
you know, with special friends, that kind of thing. So a, a connection is still out there somewhere, floating around. Um, and it just reached out to more people, really, rather than me having a house full of um, dolls that look like a Romanian orphanage or something. <laughs> um, but she'd love these now, the real bones and the, the todders I got and all that kind of thing. Um, she'd absolutely love them. She'd be in straight away. Where'd you get it from? What have you done? Let's have a look. Where are the pictures? Oh, my goodness. And we used to really used to share everything. But uh, I miss that now. But then I mentally share it with her. I think, look at this man. Like we all do, isn't it, when someone's passed that we're close to. The same with my dad. Um, he's been gone a long time now. 83, he died. But you're still like, oh, dad, you would have loved this. And I don't think people really understand, do they? Like my kids, they haven't lost a parent yet. So they have no idea that that thing is still there, that pull is still there. Um, but anyway, let's go back to the babies. Um, you tend to get caught up in the conversation once you start, don't you? <laughs> um, I won't bring uh, Madison in today. I haven't really changed her. And um, even though I'm feeling better today, I'm, I'm incredibly tired after yesterday. And um, I really don't fancy tackling her now after changing the other toddlers. But uh, I'll bring her on next time or I'll do a photo shoot soon and make a slideshow up and and do it that way. Um, but that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed my week of challenges. I hope you haven't felt spammed by all the um, videos and you've enjoyed them. I enjoyed it. I uh, didn't enjoy the prep. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of work for me these days, but it's been fun as well and I, I have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed showing off the babies and I've enjoyed the challenge of trying to uh, meet each theme each day. Um, so thank you for the those who popped along. Um, I really appreciate your comments. Thank you to my new subscribers. Um, thinking of Diana at the Hummingbird Nest. Um, she's not doing very well at the moment with complications and things going on. And, um, you know, in recovery, if you look on Suzanne's babies, um, she says that uh, she's going to be, um, a, what you call it, in the rehabilitation centre away from her family. So she's going to need all the um, support she gets. Um, she can get at the moment and in the near future um so i hope that you'll be thinking of her sending out those positive vibes and if you if you do pray pray for her and just um say hi she does have her email on her um channel the hummingbird nest um i did forget to put the link up yet, uh, the other day um i i am forgetful um um i did see the occupational therapist yesterday and she gave me some really sound advice about managing fatigue and um doing things around the place and that kind of thing and she's getting some equipment in for me to help so i'm hoping uh, i'll have half a brain soon <laughs> be able to think a bit straighter and not stumble over my words and um have a decent conversation with you that'd be interesting wouldn't it <laughs> so anyway bye for now as i say i hope you enjoyed the themes and a uh, big shout out to my um september channel buddy gail's new to reborns 22 robinson and um also don't forget um to um pop along to the hummingbird nest and leave diana some lovely comments and as i say her email is on there um if you did want to just say hi obviously she's very tired and and uh, she may not respond to your email she's really not very well but um maybe just to say hi and um, you know thinking of you um, not to tire her out, but we'll, uh, just short emails will probably be good and keep that positivity going and make her feel and make her realise, actually not feel, but know that we, um, are all thinking about her and wondering how she is and wishing her well. Um, and hopefully she'll recover fully, um, and we'll soon be back on and that'll be great. I can't wait to her first video, but, uh, just in case she does see it or anyone that uh, knows her very well, um, just say hi, we're all thinking of her and um, we wish her all the best and we're keeping her in our thoughts. So there you go. So that's me done for today. I've finally finished my challenge. I'm going to upload these now and put them on and um, then I'm going to chill and um, go and um, paint some, some babies <laughs> for an hour or so. And uh, before lunch, I don't know what time is now. Oh. Five, ten past eleven, so maybe not before lunch, maybe after lunch. <laughs> so bye for now. Lots of love. Take care of each other. Bye.